Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a jacket and obviously it is nighttime. I'm using a ring light, you can see in my microwave. Um, but yeah, I got some inspiration today to just finally make something and I haven't wanted to sew in a long time, but I really want to make something new. I want to say once a month, but then again, I don't want to put too many expectations on myself because I have a lot of other things I'm wanting to do too. So I don't know. I'm just going to see where it goes and hopefully this sewing project will inspire me to do more because I'd love to do more sewing on this channel. I love making my own clothes and 2020, like despite spending so much time at home, I just did not really do that much sewing. So today I'm going to be making the Wixton Hayori jacket and it has like a really fun slouchy vibe that is really relaxed and it has three lengths. I'm going to be making the mid length because I feel like that it's like it covers your bum, but it's not too long. It doesn't feel like a robe. I feel like it could very easily be made into something more like a robe if you wanted to like really lengthen it, but I like the mid length. So with all of that, I have already put together the pattern which is honestly like the most time consuming part of sewing. Like I think even more time consuming than actually creating the garment because you have to print it all out and then assemble it like tiles. So yeah, it just takes a really long time. So um, I have the first piece of fabric that I'm gonna be cutting. So I have this wool poly blend and it, I would have loved for it to be like full wool, but I mean, my local place didn't have that and I wanted to make it today because inspiration struck and I wanted to take advantage of it right away. So it is a poly wool blend for the outside. It's obviously it's black. And then for the inside, I got this really cute green flannel, which I hope that I have maybe a little bit extra. This is going to be the lining. This is going to be the outer. I feel like it's gonna be pretty warm. Wool tends to be super warm. The actual pieces are quite large and like they don't have much shape. So this is what one of them looks like. And then this is what the other, this is like the back. So it is really like oversized and like slubby. So I'm excited to, um, I'm excited to do this. So um, cut one main on the fold. So the fold is right here on this side. All right. I'm going to time lapse because this is probably going to be really boring. So, hope you enjoy. notorious for starting and finishing projects all in the same day, which obviously that's not gonna be possible today. So I will have to finish this tomorrow probably. I'm going to look at the instructions. It looks pretty simple. Like I believe I just have to lay this piece out just like that and then sew on the individual fronts like that. <laughs> I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna need to be doing, but I'm gonna check the instructions just in case, but it seems to line up pretty well. I mean, sewing is a lot like putting together a puzzle, so I think it's just such a fun puzzle. And this also looks like really big, which I suppose is fine. I want it to be a little oversized. I'm gonna start pinning and sewing it together. I have sewn the front to the back. It's really hard to see it because it's all black. It'll be much more visible tomorrow when I'm doing, or maybe even later in this video when I'm doing the plaid part, but now that it is all sewn up, now I'm going to attach the sleeve here and here because the sleeve is um, sort of like a drop sleeve. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I have it facing up and I'm going to just I guess sew it on. I need to look at the instructions.
I'm at the point in sewing where my sewing machine is starting to do the bird's nest thing, which is so irritating. I don't know why it does it. I know that it has something to do with the tension or just like something, I don't know. I've done all the Googling. I've brought it into a sewing shop to be repaired. I've, I feel like I've done a lot of things and just sometimes it just bird's nests and I don't, I have not figured out why. So pretty irritating, but thankfully these bird's nests, like sometimes the bird nest seams are not strong and they get, you can like pull them apart really easily. But for some reason, these ones are pretty strong. So I don't know why, really, I don't know why. And it's, I'm too annoyed to really like dive in and try to figure out why. I am gonna look at the tension, like maybe I need to adjust the tension because this is a bit thicker of fabric, perhaps. But in any case, I am now connecting the sides like this. Um, so it's kind of like a raglan tee, basically. Like there is not like an armhole. It's just like the sleeve and then you connect the bottom. So if that makes any sense at all, that's what I'm currently doing. And then I'm just gonna repeat the process for the lining. And honestly, I have to say, this is a really, really easy sewing project. Like not a lot of um, twists and turns. I feel like a lot of sewing patterns will say that they're really easy, but they'll have a lot of curves and things like that. And curves are honestly really difficult to perfect and like get right. And you can tell if a garment is handmade like at home if the curves are not good. Like I feel like that's something that gives it away. It's taken me a really long time to get good at curves and I feel like I'm still not very good at them, but this just doesn't have that many curves. It's a lot of straight lines. So with that, I feel like it is a really good beginner project. Cause like, yeah, for those reasons. You just at home, you know, you got your, you got your sewing machine, you got your camera, you got your little sweatshirt you're making for me. For you? Yeah. Who else would it be? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say it. Well, okay, I'll make you something, okay? I'll make you something. You just need to pick something else. I want a sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> like this? Yeah, give me that. Like a hoodie? <clears throat> yeah, give me a hoodie. You want this hoodie? Yeah, give me your hoodie. This is my hoodie. <laughs> oh, I think I should pick this. Now let me explain here, just as a little extra, how this type of needle threader works. You've got to have the needle at its highest position. All right, so I increased the tension and that seemed to help a lot. So we did get through one of the armholes, thankfully. Finally, it's done. <laughs> jacket portion and oh, I'm so excited. I put it on because I was just curious. I put both of them on and they both just look so good. I love this color. Like I did not know if I would love the color and I just love it. I think it's so cute. Oh, my battery's gonna die, hold on. Now the instructions say, so now we're gonna connect the two pieces. So what I have to do is I have to put them together right sides right sides facing each other but like like this i don't know if that makes any sense um <laughs> with the bottoms touching each other like that you know what i mean i feel like that's really hard to explain but so basically you set them on top of each other right sides together okay i feel like sewing is like another language to learn like learning about plants is an entirely new language and then learning sewing is just in a new language as well it's just crazy how many like terms you have to learn like right sides together wrong sides facing like it's just like honestly i think it's confusing so if you can cut through all that noise 
you should be fine, honestly. But it is confusing, I will give you that. Pinned it all together at the bottom, right sides facing, so we're going to sew this really long line and hope that it works out because it would really suck to have to unstitch this if it's wrong. <laughs> so let's just have our fingers crossed that this is right. Also, I should say, I'm watching this show on Netflix. It's called Bling Empire. And usually when I sew, I like to listen to a podcast or like watch a show that I've already seen, or in this case, like trash reality TV. So this is basically like Crazy Rich Asians, except it's in real life. They actually made a reference to Crazy Rich Asians. I'm enjoying it and just love trash reality TV. to like show how this goes so that it's a little bit more visually helpful if you are making this. Um, so basically the picture shows this. So the stitching is on the inside here. All the stitching's on the inside as long as you sewed this right sides together. So you should still have this on the inside and basically what you do to flip it so that it's correct is you throw the lining over top and then you slide the sleeve into this sleeve here. And then now all of the pretty inside is showing and none of the seams right here. So just in case this is your first time making anything like this, that's usually how it goes with lined garments and then it looks like this on the inside. Alrighty, so this is where I'm going to turn in for the night. So all I have to do tomorrow is the collar and then the sleeves. And that's it, I've done the pockets. I, it looks so good, I love it, I love it. It feels so warm, but like cozy, so not like hot, you know? I just, I love it. It's so great. I already can see myself making like a linen version that's like, oh yeah, I'm really excited. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna turn in for the night, so I will see you tomorrow. All right, day two, working on this jacket. So it is nighttime again because we had a full day, but I think that I will be able to finish it tonight because all I have to do is the collar and the sleeves. So I'm working on the collar right now, which is basically just this really long strip and I'm sewing it together basically like this all the way down and I'm leaving the bottom part open and I pressed a little 3 8 seam allowance here. So yeah, I'm just gonna sew that up and probably, I don't know how it's actually added onto the jacket. This is kind of where things get a little bit more complicated. Like up until now it's been super easy, but now it gets, just a little bit more intricate as far as the construction. So well, maybe not intricate, just like um, new. So anyway, it took me a long time to get the tension right. Look at that big mess. That's basically what it's been doing. And I did fix it. So hopefully that doesn't happen again because that was extremely frustrating. But yeah, I'm watching Bling Empire again. I'm on episode four. I don't know how many episodes there actually are. Pardon me, I'm eating an apple. I have not updated in a little while because things got really frustrating, things got really confusing, but pretty much what it was happening is this section of the instructions was just very confusing to follow because there's like four steps put in this one paragraph and just in my mind, I was like, I don't get any of this. I didn't look at it sentence by sentence. <laughs> 
which is just a problem. So I looked at it sentence by sentence and I realized that I needed to baste together the lining with the actual jacket so that it would feel more put together, which that definitely helped it feel more like a finished garment uh, and like I can actually work with it. So then I moved on after I had did that, after I had done that. And then now it says with right side of the jacket lining facing, wait, with right side of jacket lining facing right side of upper collar pin. Okay, so I need to flip this around. Okay, see, I read it wrong again. Ugh. Right side of the jacket lining facing right side of upper collar pin raw edge of upper collar to jacket front opening. See, what's confusing to me is it's unclear if this folded edge goes on the top to be pinned or if this <clears throat> raw edge and no, like based on my previous sewing experience, I'm gonna assume it's the raw edge. <sighs> but the picture just shows like the finished piece, not like what it'll look like in the process, which is just really confusing and not very helpful. Thankfully, this is the second to last step. All right, so I am edge stitching the collar. I finally figured it out. I was way overcomplicating it and I'm almost done. I have just, um, I'm at the, like the neck right here. So I just have one side left and then it is all done. I'm gonna give it a final press to flatten out all of the seams. And then I have made the Wixton Hayori jacket. I'm so excited. All right, so I have officially finished the jacket and I'm obsessed. I feel like this is easily the worst way I could possibly be showing you, but I'm really, really happy about it. It's so cute. I think when I make it again, I wanna make the collar the same material as the jacket part because it just makes it a little bit more inconspicuous and less like, I don't know, this is my collar. But anyway, I decided to not use interfacing for the collar just because I wanted it to feel just like super relaxed. Um, I kind of just wanted something to wear around the house. And I feel like I have accomplished that in this jacket. All right, you guys, see you later. Bye.